there are a lot of improvements from early this morning. Yeah, it was really foggy out there, but now the sun is breaking out <laughs> and temperatures are warm. Take a look at this live picture of the city of Boston here. You can see the clouds breaking apart and oh, it feels nice. A little bit breezy out there, but this is just the start of a streak of days that are going to be fairly dry. In fact, storm-free week. That's what's heading our way. Longest stretch in months, but it comes with colder than average temperatures. At least today, enjoy the 50s, even 60 degrees in one spot right now because 30s is what we're expecting through the weekend. And we're also watching a storm system that could impact our area late Sunday into Monday, but too early to really tell exactly the timeline or the direct impacts, and it could be staying to our south. What we're watching now is this week disturbance. It will be pushing eastward and bringing in that colder air, but noticing, yeah, we've seen a few sprinkles here or there. Can't rule out a stray sprinkle, but most of us seeing some of the clouds breaking apart. 60 in Taunton, 56 in Boston. We're in the 50s, 40s to the north and west. The wind is just enough out of the west southwest that's helped pushing up those temperatures and it's gusty. We've got gusts over 20, over 30 in Boston and Fitchburg and Lawrence too reporting a gust of 37 miles per hour. So it's really pushing our temperatures up. I am expecting to see temperatures begin to tumble later on this evening, but overall it's looking pretty good as we'll have a mix of sun and clouds and there's that front pushing southeast. We're introducing the cold air. So tomorrow it's going to be a completely different story as highs are going to struggle to get out of the 30s, but feel even even colder in a gusty northwesterly wind. As for that midweek storm threat, it looks as though it's going to stay mainly to our south. That means we're going to see another bright day with a little bit lighter wind. So tonight, partly cloudy, gusty wind, temperature close to freezing. And if you're up early, at least an hour before sunrise, right around 6 o'clock, if you look to the southeast, you could see Venus. And of course, if you get take a picture, send it to me. I'd love to show it on the morning news, of course. Taking a look at what that wind chill will feel like, though, if you're out early taking pictures, it will feel like the teens and 20s. And that will be the story all day long. So definitely bundle up, prepare for cold weather as temperatures will be close to freezing during the morning commute. Sunrise is at 657. Midday, we do climb up into the mid-30s, but that gusty northwesterly wind will make it feel even colder. And then by the afternoon, stuck in the upper 20s, low 30s, sunset is at 412. So that seven-day forecast does feature fairly dry conditions this week, but boy, temperatures stuck in the 30s. May see a few flurries late Thursday into Friday, but again, watching that late weekend storm threat, but right now, keeping it dry, Chris.